This was a huge week in the world of Cisco, and I am still on my journey towards the CCIE, so here's how the week went. So this week was a big week and another week that we should recap what happened in the tech world. This week was Cisco Live and DevNet Day, and I think we can all agree that was a very awesome way to spend the last three days. We saw some amazing things, and some of the big takeaways for me that came out of it were really centered around Cisco's corporate culture and the types of things that Chuck Robbins is trying to do in Cisco. It was really, really awesome. We did a webinar with CBT Nuggets that included myself, Jeff Kish, and Keith Barker, where we talked about our big takeaways. And that video will be on YouTube, CBT Nuggets YouTube here, hopefully sometime today. There's also going to be a blog post coming around it. So if you follow me on Twitter or any of the other social media outlets, I'll be sharing that when that goes live. I really encourage you to check out our big thoughts and our takeaways from what came with Cisco Live and DevNet. Day. Also this week, I released a video on Monday that covered what is actually in my home lab. Now my home lab since Monday has changed because I got a new server in and I can't wait to tell you what I'm going to be using that server for, but that's going to be a month away or so because I got a lot of stuff to do to make it really ready to rock and roll before I roll out what it's all about. But if you haven't checked out what's in my home lab, I'd encourage you to jump over to that video and check it out too. There's links in the description, so if you want to follow along and see the stuff that I'm buying and using, you've got that option as well. Beyond that, the quest towards CCIE. I finished reading this thing, the, the actual OCG for the Encore exam. Um, that doesn't mean I've memorized it. Doesn't mean I'm done reading it. Uh, I will definitely go back and brush up on things like QoS, Assurance, and the security features. Those are things that, you know, how do I put this? I am certainly more motivated and interested in layer two and layer three, fabric technologies and overlay tunnels. Those are the things where I'm like, oh yeah, that's really cool. I'm gonna pay attention. Uh, the other things are, you know, they just kind of feel like things that you have to get through, even though I know I fully recognize they are very important to know and can certainly make you a more robust and powerful engineer when you're on the command line. So I'm gonna brush up on this textbook over the weekend, and then I'm shifting into practice exam mode where I'm gonna be focusing on the practice exams that are available to me. For me, I personally really like boson practice exams. Kaplan makes some good exams too, but I'll be filling in gaps with boson practice exams. And I may even live stream taking one of those practice exams right here on YouTube. So I'm getting closer towards taking the Encore exam. I do think I'm two or three weeks away from it and I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. My skills are growing and I'm very happy with that. Once I've got Encore behind me, I just feel like that's something that I need to get behind me so that I can go into the nitty gritty details so that I can really focus and dig deep onto things like the routing and services, switching, and then of course, software defined networking. I'm really excited to get hands on with tools like SD-WAN. So a few weeks away from taking the Encore exam, I think I might take it a little early just to see how I do, but realistically, I'm a few weeks away from taking and passing this exam at this point. So that's been my week in review. Thanks for stopping by y'all. I'll see you in the next one.